Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us for our musical journey of Belgium, today featuring the unique city of Mechelen. The music today is performed at the Onze Lieve Vrouwen Church, and we'll be visiting the world's most famous Carillon School. Thank you for joining us. Oliva Frauer Church dates back to the 14th and 15th century. During the war, many of the windows were bombed as well as various parts of the sanctuary. But over the years, it has been restored little by little. Various works of art adorn the sanctuary with a notable triptych of the famous painter Rubens hanging in a side nave. The original organ dates to 1665 and has been added to and also restored over the years. It has led in worship for hundreds of years with praise and glory. Frauer Church of Mechelen has special meaning for me. It was here almost 25 years ago that I made my first audio recording and following the concert was welcomed at a reception at the Old Town Hall by the mayor of Mechelen and also received a key to the city. It is a joy for me to come back and play the wonderful organ in the great acoustics.
While other cities and towns in Belgium beckon you with their history, Mechelen says it with music. There are four carillons here with a total of 197 bells, and they ring out in concerts the whole world comes to hear. Elegant wooden signposts everywhere point the way to the monumental tower of the Cathedral of St. Rambou, considered the most beautiful belfry in the country. It has two carillons with 98 bells weighing a total of 80 tons. The cathedral itself is magnificent and displays many paintings by the Flemish masters.
Belgium is a country of music with its major symphonies, choirs, and magnificent organs. Of special note, however, are the carillons, which are the civic pride of Bruges, Mechelen, Brussels, and other cities of Belgium. The bells ring out over the city squares and markets and enrich the lives of those who listen. In Mechelen, Belgium, we find the world's most famous carillon school. We're delighted to be here at the Royal Carillon School in Mechelen, Belgium, and I'm here with the master Jo Hazen, who is director of the school. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Thank you. Can you tell us how long the school has existed? The school exists now 75 years, exactly. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of festivities this year. I'm sure. Yeah. This is the 75th year. 70, 50, uh, 75, and um, we have students from all over the world. How many students do you have? In this year, for this specialty, it's not bad. We have fif 58 students from the United States, from Russia, from China, from Portugal, from France, from mm -hmm. Holland, from Belgium, Germany, etc. Are the jobs for caroliners around the world with cathedrals and churches, are they full-time jobs? Sometimes, mm -hmm. but not only in cathedrals and churches, also in belfries and city halls and uh -huh. universities. Uh -huh. Because the carillon is not uh, especially a religious instrument, not at all. Originally it was an instrument in the free buildings, the free towers. In bell of, towers. In the bell towers, uh -huh. the belfries of Flanderen, because it's an original Flemish instrument, the carillon. In order to practice the carillon, you must go up in the tower where the bells are found. Is of that course, right? so it's the whole city can listen to this music. Yeah, so right. everyone listens to you practice. Also that happens, and this already during 75 years. It doesn't disturb, it uh -huh. is a fact. The, so people, a, the people love the carillons I here. I think so, yeah, yes. Yeah. And what music do you choose to play on the carillons? We play all kinds of music. That means old music, baroque music. There is a lot of original baroque music for carillon. Then romantic music, especially from the 19th and the beginning of the 20th century. Even modern music, classic modern music, academic music, etc. So all, is, even jazz is possible. Everything is possible on the carillon. of the instrument. And we thank you very much for playing on the Joy of Music today. You know, the difference between this toy and a real instrument is so big. So you, now we are at school. It should be fine and nice to climb upstairs in our tower, the cathedral tower, 500 steps, where are 98 big bells, altogether 80,000 kilos of bronze. So it's enormous, it's great, and the whole city can listen to this nice music. This is very 
clean, nice, fine, little music. It's just like a music box. Yes. But upstairs it's like a giant. You see, yes. it's some and of the music. And thrilling box. to hear. Thank you very much. Dvorak was born in Czechoslovakia in 1841. Much of Dvorak's melodic ideas came from his native homeland and are full of melodic richness and poetic content. His little-known bagatelles written for keyboard and strings convey his joy in life, love of man and nature, faith in God, and devotion to his country.
Today, the joy of music has come to you from Mechelen, Belgium, with music from the great Anselieve of Rauer Church. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the joy of music. like to purchase today's program or any program in our library of over 400 videos and CDs from the great organs and historic churches of the world, please call 1-800-933-4844. We hope to hear from you.